this would be a good time to use a calculator for grids. I typically use a website called gridcalculator.dk right up here. And I like to enter a, a maximum width to my web mockup. So I'm going to enter 1920, which is my width in pixels. Currently I have it here as at four columns. We can change it to be 12, 16, or 20, or 24 columns. I'm going to change it to 24 columns. And here you can tell right off the bat that the page width is 1916 and the column width is 59. So it's off a bit. So anything that's in red, we want to change. So let's change it to maybe 20. And that actually works pretty good. So we're going to use this as a guide. Okay, we're back in Photoshop now. And we're going to be adding some view guides. So we're going to view new guide layout. We're entering the 20 columns as per our calculator. We can change our gutter to be 20 as well. And you have 20 pixels for the top, left, bottom, and right margins. And say OK. OK, so what I like to do is actually like to combine my two layers that I'm going to be moving. So right now I'm going to move my logo as well as my slogan together. I'm going to hold on the shift key. I have my slogan selected. Hold the shift key and select on my logo. Now, now they're together and linked. When I move this together, they move together. I'm going to move my logo to be at the beginning of the column. It currently actually ends in the gutter, so I want to make sure they're going to resize this a bit. So I'm going to do a free transform and resize this to, to end at the end of the column, like so. If you're happy with that, just double click it. And I just noticed that my text is just off a bit here, so I'm going to deselect one of them. In this case, I'm going to select my top layer, which is my text, and then nudge it over just a tad bit with my left arrow, sorry, my right arrow on my keyboard, like so, and that's it.